I picked up a cheap inverter just to get going and use the batteries. So let's hook this up and see what it can do. If you enjoyed these videos, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Specs on the side of the box, it is a 3000 watt inverter, 48 volt battery, 120 volt output and 60 hertz. So inside the box, it comes with some positive and negative leads. I don't know what gauge these are. Some fuses and a manual. And the inverter itself. And it, it came uh, well packaged and inside a larger box. I bought this on eBay for $295. There's the positive and negative and the front. There's a lot of videos on YouTube uh, about these reliable brand uh, inverters and apparently they're pretty good for what you're paying for. You're, you're getting a cheap inverter uh, but it, it pretty much does what it says it can do, but nothing else. <laughs> so this inverter is a 48 volt nominal and our battery bank is a 44 volt nominal. So what I'm excited to find out is if uh, the voltage drop when this goes under load, if it causes it to shut down or not. Someone else's YouTube video mentioned that the hard wire uh, had good wires going to it, but the actual plug uh, the wires were way too small. So I'm curious about that on this model. So let's take the cover off and look. Okay, we got the cover off, but this one screw, it's, uh, it's spinning, but it's not letting go either. So anyways, no big deal. We can look in. So these two are heavier gauge wire. Yeah, it looks like red is gonna be your, your neutral and blue is gonna be your hot and they are smaller leading to the prongs. So Kevin's over here to <laughs> double check my work. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> oh, you had the... Nice. Looking good. Cool. So the double wire. We, uh, we had a little arc. Uh, my guess is that the capacitors inside uh, drew some power just off the spot, even though the unit was turned off. Okay, let's turn it on. All right, we didn't blow it up. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> and this guy is showing 44.1 slash 2. It, Seems to be bouncing between them. 0.47. So as I turn this on, let's see what the voltage drops to. Cool. So uh, 1300 watts for this heater. 31 amps, 32 amps. Okay, so we have 1300 watts yeah, and it's about being pulled on the AC side and about yeah. 1400 on the so the inverter is using about 100. Using about 100, so what's the efficiency calculate out to be? That's where 1300 divided by 1400, so... It is 92.8%. 92.8% efficient. All right, so we've got CFL. Doesn't seem to be flickering to me. Let's see if there's a flicker with an LED, so that's got some electronics in it and such. Seems to be... Perfect to me. Yeah. All right, so it's a 3,000 watt inverter, uh, 14 amps, that's about 1,680 watts. But because it's a compressor, I think that can surge up to three times, which means we would exceed the rating on the inverter. So let's see if we exceed the rating on the inverter and it pops, or if it can handle the surge to start a compressor. All right. Cool. Turn it on. Oh, yeah. Down 
No, it can't. Oh. Darn. Darn. Okay, let's try it. Uh, the valve is open on the air compressor. Oh, so close. <laughs> yeah, 15 amps. So it's 1800 watts. So where, where's the uh, the charge controller that we're putting in this? Did well, get I it don't yet? have wow. a charge controller yet. Darn! Yeah, I'm gonna take this outlet that I have and connect it up to the hardwire ports. There's no good label on which wire goes to what, and the manual was no help. Uh, so I marked these uh, based on continuity. Ground, that's the middle. And and the hot goes to the hot. Okay, let's mount this up on the wall. These hard wires had much thicker gauge wire than these outlets. Let's see if that helps uh, with a load. No, it won't. It wanted to, but not doing it. Darn. All right, so we know that it, it, it's the inverter. It just won't run uh, this guy, uh, the compressor load. <laughs> but we do have an outlet on the outside, so that's helpful. Uh, I used the wires that came with it, um, but they are doubled up. Now it's really a battery cabinet box. I got a charging station for my, my cordless tools. <laughs> this is totally the most efficient use of Chevy Volt batteries, right? Using batteries to charge these guys. I wonder how many times I could charge a little DeWalt battery off the remaining energy that's stored in these before I wind up getting the solar charger hooked up. <laughs> if you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions for me, uh, leave them in the comments below. And uh, please share these videos if you like them. I'm using Chevy Volt batteries to charge, charge cordless tool batteries. <laughs>